When General Motors unveiled its first plug-in electric car earlier this month, there was plenty of prototype hype. This weekend, California car buyers got to see it, but can't yet buy it. Compared to current hybrids, the Chevy Volt uses more battery power and less gas. It's charged by plugging it into a standard outlet. Are we going to actually see this in a showroom where I can buy it and drive it away at some point? Yes, and you're going to see it by the end of 2010. Gas prices, higher mileage standards, and better battery technology are sparking a race among automakers to electrify their fleets. Most are now developing plug-in hybrid or fully electric cars that can run exclusively on battery power for about 40 miles. This for us is the future. But it's also a blast from the past. In 1996, electric cars began to appear on roads all over California. The documentary, Who Killed the Electric Car, detailed GM and Toyota's first attempts at selling fully electric cars in the late 1990s. I tell you, when I noticed that GM was losing interest was when I wanted to release my car and they wouldn't let me. Ten years later, these futuristic cars were almost entirely gone. Electric cars and plug-ins are, are just back from the dead. The film's director is now working on a sequel, The Revenge of the Electric Car. To see electric cars come back and begin to find like a real niche is, makes you think that change is, change is possible when people want it. Some people are so revved up about the idea of electric cars that if they don't have one of the original models like this one, companies to start selling them again. They're actually making their own. So that's the quick and dirty way. So-called conversion classes are now being held in cities like San Francisco. Drivers swap traditional engines for homemade electric ones, and most of them actually work. You just plug it in. Nick I mean, Zart is in the process yeah, of really electrifying simple, his Alfa Romeo. It's, it's, I've got the engine more or less figured out, the controllers more or less figured out, but the battery will be the last thing. Those of us a little less handy will have to wait another year or two before electric cars go from concept Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.